in a mystery. Go wherever it leads. Oh, that view. Bonjour. Hi there. Uh, here in the Chamonix Valley, just outside of Chamonix, uh, heading up towards the first couple miles, kilometers of the Mount Blanc Marathon course. It's a couple days before the race, but I wanted to rehash last week's uh, training. So uh, let's get into it. So this is the training weekly wrap up for uh, June 18th to the 24th. So last week, did a lot of traveling. I think I've flown on 12 different planes in the last two weeks, but uh, yeah, it was a good taper week. It was a taper week. We ran just under 60 miles or 100K only, and did almost, I think, what, 9,500 feet of climbing, 9,500 feet of climbing, so just under 10,000 feet of climbing for the week, which is about the same that the race is gonna have, trail marathon here. Uh, so what is that in meters? 2,800 meters maybe. So definitely tapering down, trying to rest up. Part of that's with international travel though. Uh, you lose actually full days because of the time change, the duration of the airplane flights, but it's a taper week anyway. And I went to Poland first uh, to watch Sandy run. And so first run, actually I was coming off of Mount Washington. So I did a easy five mile jog on the 18th around, uh, around the north of Boston. Uh, Nashua, New Hampshire. It's doing a speaking event out there for the Gate City Striders. Shout out Gate City Striders. I did an evening run with them. Another five miles and some nice trails. Speaking event out of Boston. Next day I flew to Chicago because uh, I had a flight out of there to Europe. It was cheaper to get a ticket from Chicago, at least on United Airlines. Uh, so I spent the night in Chicago, did a night run at a park out by the airport. Pretty uneventful, just an easy 60 minute hour long run. Great views in the valley here. This race starts off flat. <laughs> so anyway, out in Chicago. Next morning I did a little bit of an up-tempo workout. I was actually vlogging before this workout, but I did five or six miles up-tempo. I think I started off just around six flat per mile pace. Worked it down to 515 per mile pace. Legs were a little tired after Mount Washington. Some of the vertical, but uh, yeah, let's get a little up-tempo workout. Oh, Second half of that workout was, uh, I went straight from that up-tempo on the flats, flat bike path, to doing uh, three miles or two miles up-tempo on an incline. On an incline, it's really lame, it was at the treadmill gym. This is pretty flat around Chicago. Treadmill's very easy to control. 15% grade incline for two miles, about 20 minutes. I think I went a little more than two miles actually, but not an all out effort. Tempo run should not be an all out effort. It's more like an 80, 85% effort. My legs were tired from the flat, fast running, but I wanted to practice that transition because see here, started the first couple miles, actually the first uh, 12K, 16K of the Mount Block Marathon course is more flat and runnable before you do all the climbing. So we're on the course here, I think. And uh, it's, I re-ran like a 540, 530 first mile last year here. Uh, then there were some miles in the low 520s, the downhills, but definitely cut the first 16K, the first uh, 10 miles in about 67, 68 minutes. So, you know, there's some decent amount of climbing still, but it's more on double track road before all the 10,000 feet of climbing and mountain running starts in the second half of the race. So anyway, did that treadmill workout uh, at the hotel in Chicago, flew out to London through Canada. It was a long travel day. Got into London uh, with Sandy and her sister and uh, had a layover there. So we spent the night, did a little easy hour shakeout run out by the airport, getting lost, things like that. Uh, then we flew to Poland for the world long distance mountain range champs. Sandy's part of Team USA. So the next day I scouted out the course at about 10 miles on the course with over 3,000 feet of climbing. Uh, that's a thousand meters. Uh, just real easy, but it's a nice mountainous course, mountainous area of Poland. 
Uh, great scenery, a little cold on the summit. I guess it was unusually cold, but I had my jacket, so I was prepared for that. So really nice. Uh, and then the next day I was crewing for Team USA watching Sandy compete. Fortunately, she had tweaked her back the week before. Had some serious back pain, totally locked up on her during the race on the downhill. Uh, and so she had to actually pull out debilitating back pain, kind of a sudden thing. She had trained really hard specifically for this race. So super disappointing uh, for that. But Team USA, I was watching uh, Joe Gray, Andy Wacker, who had just raced at Mount Washington, uh, who got fifth or sixth, 213 marathoner, Anthony Costas. Uh, Team USA for the men got silver. Some of the top uh, US women, Eddie Bracey, Ashley Brazovin, I'm pronouncing your name right, Brazov, uh, they got seventh and eighth, or sixth or seventh, I believe, as individuals. Uh, so I did a video on that there. Check out the runs in Poland. So I was crewing out on the course, got really cold. Next day, do the next day, we had to fly, I had to fly out. I was going to a compressed board conference, so hey. Hey, Hayden Hawks here. Congrats on Lavaredo. Yeah, nice to see you. Yeah, How you doing? You. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just crewing a friend out. You're crewing? Okay, awesome. We'll see you out on the course. Yep. Congrats again. Awesome yeah. race. All really right. cool. See you, on Sunday, man. see you, man. Yeah. Hayden Hawks, Lavaredo champion. Shout out Team Hoka there. Team Nathan. Uh, yeah, where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. So next morning, easy shakeout run, 10K, six miles on more flat trails. Uh, before doing flying out, I had three plane flights that day through uh, Germany. Had some nice beer at the airport. Uh, really good. And then, what did I do? Uh, I'm watching for the racers to come through here. They're doing the the 80k, or I guess it's the 90k race now. So they'll be coming through. Be exciting to watch. It started a lot earlier. In this weekend, also VK today here in Chamonix. Um, but yeah, that'll be, uh, let's see, Poland. Oh yeah, and then uh, that ended up the week pretty much with those totals. A lot of easy running, no hard workouts. Uh, up tempo, taper into this week, where I've just been going super easy. Although yesterday I went up there, got in 4K of climbing, had to power hike to not tax my legs, but. Beautiful trails, beautiful weather out here in Chamonix. It's supposed to be warm on race day, which is good. I'd rather have it be hot and sunny rather than rainy, windy, and cold. I uh, want to do the full climb, so breathtaking views as you climb up the valley. Great race lined up. Uh, Killian Jornet is in the field now, as well as Steon, Remy, uh, Mark, all these guys. There's so many top guys in the marathon race here, uh, but yeah. Hopefully uh, Sandy gets some footage. She's gonna crew for me up here. Uh, and yeah, get some footage of the race and uh, keep you guys updated with how that goes. Thanks so much for following along on here and really appreciate the support. Patreon supporters, shout out to title sponsor, Hoka11, as well as our coaching business. Sandy and I own and operate sagerunning.com. Check out training plans, subscribe on here. More videos, thumbs up and comments if you like these types of videos. Shout out if you're here in Chamonix. Hope to see you, share a beer with you after the race. Thanks so much guys, and good luck with your running.